Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be slightly different from the usual because I'm not swatching any particularly as supplies but I'm uh, painting last minute watercolor bookmarks for my son. Of course my son does not follow me on YouTube so there is no spoiler he will never see these bookmarks that I'm preparing for Christmas. So maybe you can follow my process for these bookmarks to make them more uh, masculine and more unique. I'm using my graffitine paint, the graphite watercolor by Derwent. There are other different graphite watercolors by Kuretaki, I think, or others, but I'm using these ones. Or maybe you can use uh, granulating watercolor. So this is an alternative. This is my palette of uh, super granulating watercolors by Schminke. So maybe you could use these instead just to make them more unique and slightly more masculine. So the first thing I'm doing, I am dividing with a narrow tape. You can skip this step with a narrow tape, my paper. This is watercolor cotton paper, 300 GSM, but I'm sure you can use, uh, oops. I'm sure you can use uh, any watercolor paper if it is uh, 300 GSM, it's okay. If it contains uh, a slight portion of cotton, like 25%, it's even better. Actually, I have tried this uh, bookmark uh, draft version on a postcard, watercolor postcard, uh, with a small portion of uh, cotton. Okay, now. I think that, uh, I'm not sure, these maybe are too short for a bookmark. What do you think? Yeah, I think that maybe I divide by two. I divide in two parts, uh, this one. So I make two bookmarks. Let's see what, where is half? 14 centimeters. You can buy ready-made um, bookmarks, white bookmarks for watercolor, but I don't have them. So I'm doing this in a more artisanal way. Okay, so I'm, as I told you, I'm using my graphite tint to make, to give them a more unique uh, look. You can use your normal watercolor or you can use the super granulating these are the swatches of this graffiti. I will be using this uh, slate green, ocean blue, and russet, which is a yellow. Maybe I will add some, uh, no, these three colors I will be using. Let's start painting. I'm painting a gradient. I'm mixing it with this uh, green slate. But this is just the first. First layer. Okay, like this. Now 
on the sand. We'll add some red for variety here and there, but it is wet. And we'll let this dry. Now a second layer for waves. I take my blue and I'll make a irregular. like this, regular wave, and then a gradient. Darker here. Dots here and there. You can also add some green. I add this late green. To give some depth and color variety. Same here. A gradient from top. towards our wave here. And green dots. And now here some second layer with my sand. slight hint of sand. Now we are going to add some white gouache for the waves. And I'm taking this uh, uh, white titanium gouache. Oh. Straight from the tube. And I will apply along the wave along this line and then you slightly blend it Okay. 
can also add some okay, white dots here and there. In here. some dots The secret is to put very dark paint under the white here. So I might add some even darker paint. Yeah. Because that would be the shadow of the rolling wave. And then with just a clean brush. I should have splatter later, but I can still do it. Same here, where you have the wet sand, I can add some darker sand. It's the wet sand and the shadow of the water. Just blend it. I would also like to add some slightly brand these uh, hard edges here. dry maybe add some more white here let me blend this hard edge which i don't like at all i can take some paper okay yes i think i can add some white here and there yeah on the edge be very organic okay. some white dots here and there Not 
to regular try and being irregular So I have dried everything. I have one last touch and it is slightly darker shadow. Under the wave, I take the red mix with the yellow and I go like this. Very carefully towards a hint of shadow. both the shadow and wet sand but it enhanced the contrast with the water Take away the tape. Voila. Now I will uh, cut them and I'll come back for final considerations. Okay, here we are. This is not perfect. There's some color here that you can retouch it with the what wash. And these are two separate bookmarks that are quite nice, I think. And uh, I will give them to my son as a surprise for next holidays and uh, he he reads luckily he doesn't read fiction he reads essays politics but um, he asked me for a bookmark and i'm making one for him and i think he will appreciate it it's nice thanks a lot for having watched this small tutorial with me i would love to know if you appreciated this new type of video it's different because i'm not swatching anything although i'm using a, a specific uh, supplies that i don't often use but that i like very much so that you can see this um, graphite tint by there went on paper in a real project and um, if you are interested in seeing all the colors swatched i will put the link with the video in the description box in the description box and uh, I'm waiting for your comment. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, my friends. And uh, ciao, ciao from Elisabetta. Ciao.